Hello, beautiful people. So if you want to move down to Canada, right, this is the video for you. So there is this stream to one of the best provinces in Canada that has lower requirements, like the kind of requirements I know you would like. So on this particular stream, you don't need LMIA, right? There is no need for LMIA for this. There is no need for IELTS for this. And there is no need for proof of funds. So take out those three things from the requirements to move down to Canada. And I know that a lot of people are going to like this. So in this video, I'm going to show you what this stream is all about. You know, which province, who are those eligible, what occupations, how do you do it, and everything that you need to know. So do stick with me in this video for all the information and do watch to the end so that you can get the complete information that will guide you on how to make your dream come true, all right? So if you're just meeting, if this is the first time you're watching my video, my name is Jackie and you're welcome to my channel. I'd recommend you subscribe to the channel and also turn on the post notification bell because my channel is the best place where you can get all the information you need about how to migrate abroad to several countries like not just Canada, like the UK, Netherlands, Germany, Japan, you know, just name it, every country around the world. I have videos on my channel on how you can make that happen and I do update my channel like every day with relevant information so if you want to migrate you really need to stick to my channel so do subscribe and turn on your post notification bell and also let me know in the comments if you're watching my video for the first time I always have something special for my first time viewers so do let me know in the comments if this is your first time of watching my video and also to my returning subscribers you guys are so special to me thank you for all the support thank you for always coming back to watch my videos for all the shares for all the comments the likes you know I do appreciate all the support it means the world to me thank you so much okay so let me share the information with you guys so british columbia has this provincial nominee program that is super super amazing so they under the provincial nominee program for british columbia there are different streams under this like different other programs under the provincial nominee program right and i want to talk about one of these programs that i feel is super super amazing and it's one you really need to take advantage of okay so let's just get to know what this pnp for bc is all about the british columbia provincial nominee program right that is the bc pnp so i'm going to use bc a lot in this video for British Columbia, right? And PNP for Provincial Nominee Program, okay? It is an economic immigration program administered by the government of British Columbia's Immigration Programs Branch. The program enables the province to select and nominate foreign workers, international students, and entrepreneurs to help meet BC's labor market needs, support government priorities, and help grow BC's economy, yeah? So if you are nominated, you and your family can apply to IRCC, that is, you know, the Canadian immigration, right, to become a permanent resident of Canada. Yeah. So this is a PR pathway to Canada and it's super amazing. You don't need IELTS, you don't need LMIA and you don't need proof of funds, right? So just follow me. Let me show you step by step all the important information you need to know about this stream. And I do have a favor to ask, okay? This is very important to me. I really appreciate it if you can give this video a thumbs up. That is a like. So just hit the like button that is under this video, please. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. So today's video is about the BC PNP Tech. Like I said earlier, there are several programs under this BC PNP. And the one I want to talk about in this video is the Tech you know, route. So I'm going to do other videos for other professions, right? So this one is for tech. So if you're not in tech, there should be another video for you coming after this. So do subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you know when I post those videos, all right? And there are 35 occupations in tech and the IT sector that are under this program. So I'm going to show you what those occupations are. There are 35 of them. So that is a lot. So the BC PNP Tech provides BC tech employers with the continued ability to recruit and retain international talent in tech occupations when local skilled workers are unavailable. This initiative gives in-demand foreign workers and international students a pathway to permanent residence so they can help grow our economy and build a great life here in BC. So the BC PNP Tech has supported more than 6,000 tech workers to be nominated for permanent residence since its launch in May 
2017. So this started in 2017 as a pilot program, yeah, where they just want to test it and see how it works. And since, you know, the demand for, you know, these tech workers in the 35 occupations I'm going to mention, you know, were still needed. So they extended this program and made it a permanent program under the BCPNP. So it is now a permanent program, all right? And when it started, I think there were only 29 occupations under this, and they recently increased it by adding six more to make it 35 occupations. So right now, there are 35 occupations that can apply for this BCPNP tech, okay? All right, so let's just get to see key features about this. So the BCPNP tech key features are based on service, timelines, prioritization and engagement in response to the needs of the industry. So I really need to mention that this pathway is one of the fastest that I've seen so far in Canada. The processing time is just two to three months for this. So they prioritize, you know, the application process and all of that for this particular program. And another thing they do is that they hold draws every week for this program draws are held every week so it's like really really a very fast pathway down to canada okay let me just read further so we offer an employer service for companies wishing to support an applicant under bcp and tech if you are a tech employer in bc and want to know more about the program or it's or this initiative please contact our office by emailing this so this is for employers that want to you know get you know use um this program you know take advantage of this program they have this service for the employers in canada right here it says we conduct targeted tech only draws to ensure that skilled tech applicants have priority access to the program right we also assign files to a dedicated team resulting in more timely processing of tech applications so you can see that priority is given to tech draws and then even the processing time is so fast like once you complete your application the very next day you know within 24 hours your file is assigned to an officer, you know, to process it and all of that. So the processing time is two to three months most times, but some people even get it done in a lower time frame than that. So it's really nice. Okay, so we continue to proactively engage technology employers and industry stakeholders through targeted outreach and other activities to keep up to date with the issues facing the tech sector in BC. So the benefits to the applicants. Now, this is something you really want to do. What are the benefits to you, the applicants, right? So you get an immigration pathway that does not require a labor market impact assessment. So you can see there, I did not say it, right? They've said it here. It does not require LMIA. So LMIA is like the hardest, well, one of the hardest things when it has to do with getting jobs in Canada as a foreign applicant, right? So this does not require the LMIA, so that is really good. And then number two benefit to the applicant, that is you, is work permit supports letters for nominees so they can apply for a new work permit or renew their current work permit and continue to work throughout the federal permanent residence process, right? So even before your PR is completed, you can work in Canada. So once you're nominated and it goes through, you can just apply for a work permit, land in Canada, start working even while your PR application is in process. And the number three benefit is client support services through email and phone until permanent residence. So they're going to hold your hand like all through the process. And that is really amazing. So let me show you the 35 occupations that are eligible for this. Okay. So these are the BC PNP tech occupations. There are 35 of them. I can't read everything, but you're just going to see them here on the screen. So this is communication careers managers, computer and information systems managers, physicists and astronomers. I'm sure you didn't know this was part of it. That is why it's always good to like watch to the end to know what is in here. Okay. So we have data scientists, we have mathematicians, statisticians, and actuaries, cybersecurity specialists, you know, business system specialists and all of that. So we have all the web de designers and we have civil engineers, right? Mechanical engineers are here. Chemical engineers are here. Biological technologists and technicians, you know, there are, they are a lot of a lot of occupations here. We even have technical writers, technical writers. So that is like really, really good. And, um, well, one thing to note is that all engineers 
made the list. You can see here other professional engineers, apart from the ones mentioned, the civil, electrical, electronic, and mechanical, you know, there's room for others as well, okay? And then we have producers, directors, choreographers, and related occupations. We have authors and writers, you know, we have broadcast technicians, we have um, performing artists, um, broadcasting, you know, there, there's so much here, so much here, audio and video recording technicians, we have graphic designers, motion picture, broadcasting, you know, photography, performing arts, it's it's a lot, right? So, you know, when people hear of tech, they only think of like web developers, cyber security specialists and, you know, occupations like that. And that is why it's always very important that you always get to, you know, know all the information about a particular stream. So you don't just hear tech and feel like you did not make the list. All right. So these are the 35 occupations. Very interesting pathway we have here. So now here is the information about the processing time, right? So the processing times indicate how long it takes to process the application and all of that. So it's um, written here that it is three months, right? That it is three months that is going to get done. So, and one other thing to mention, yeah, this is a free application. You're going to apply for this free of charge. There's no application fee for this. It's only when you get nominated, right? When you're nominated by the province, right? That is when you get to pay an application fees. So to get in, it is free until you're nominated. And then to go further, that is when you have to pay your application fees. So there is a page here for general inquiries. There are email addresses that you can you know, send in your inquiries to if you have any question about this. So these are the email addresses I have here on the screen. So if you have an inquiry, you can reach out to them. And there's also, you know, telephone numbers and all of that. So you can you can reach out to British Columbia if you want, if you have questions that you want to ask them, okay? So now this video is um, basically information just to introduce this, pro this program to you so you know that it does exist. And I'm going to do more videos to show you where you can get jobs in British Columbia, right? Because you do need a job offer for this. And when you have a job offer you put in your application, right? You start your application process. So I'm going to do more videos to show you where you can get jobs in British Columbia and other information that you may need. So if you have any question, do drop it in the comments of this video. And then from your questions, I'm going to answer all your questions in the next video I'm going to be doing about this program. Because I realized whenever I do videos, people have a lot of questions, right? So I just think it's wise that I have another video where I'm going to answer all your questions regarding this particular stream. So do drop them in the comment section below and I'm going to treat it in the next video. And another thing, the link to this is going to be in the description box below. So you can go there to see all the information on this page. So you can read it by yourself, you know, to just get more used to it. All right. So let me just know generally what you think about this video. I really love to read from you in the comment section and do give this video a like. Don't forget to do that and subscribe to the channel if you've not done that already. So you can be seeing more videos when I post them. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. My name is Jackie and I will see you in my next video.